53 of my carnivore life. Hello! <laughs> and uh, I feel good uh, because yesterday I was shopping and I could fit into clothes. <laughs> it's such a simple thing and I could fit into clothes which are not dark and you know just hiding everything and it's just feeling better. I just feel more alive. <laughs> I was always in between two numbers. It was X, L and L, then what is L and M. And I was always in between numbers. So my whole wardrobe is full of stuff that doesn't fit me, you know. So uh, going into, you know, the dressing room and have one number that fits, <laughs> that was, and even it's a little bit big uh, at some points, it was, it was so nice. And I was standing in a, in a dressing room and I was like dancing, you know, you usually have music and I was singing and dancing like crazy and I was feeling so good. And that's why I always say, you know, carnivore gave me a little bit of my life back. I did gain also weight from yesterday, today, and I was bloated as well because I did eat uh, carnivore ice cream and I overdo it. So I'm not capable of moderating the dairy at all. I really have to focus on quitting dairy. But if you think about it, I'm now 53 days in. I quit sugar, processed food and coffee. Three things. So keep it easy. <laughs> being totally gentle with myself and being happy for the amazing process that I did in a very short period of time. So I'm happy with that. And um, yes, so um, I'm looking, I'm so hungry. It's not even nine, but I'm so hungry. Yesterday I did eat a lot of chivapchichi all the time and I started at eight because I made them and then I was eating constantly. Um, and then in the evening I was so sick because of the carnivore ice cream and the whipped cream in it and the egg, you know, or the cinnamon, one of these three things doesn't suit me. But I'm getting obsessed then with things and I'm overeating until I almost puke because that's how my falafel brain, <laughs> I don't want to say the other word, is, um, you know, working. So... Oh, that's sweet. Uh, oh, that's a fruit or that's a, da a dairy that tastes a little bit sweet. Oh, let's eat. Let's eat. Let's eat more. Come on. Yes, you can do it. Oh, 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 I was wrong. You cannot do it. Oh, oh, you're sick. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's how my body works. So yeah, basically that's what we're dealing with. But um, that's the next thing I'm going to address. You know, baby steps in the right direction. Baby steps. We're going baby steps. Um, and uh, yes, it's just so, <laughs> and since we do have now, I don't know if you have that in America uh, and the UK and Canada, <laughs> because these are the three um, countries most seen by you <laughs> and from the analytics. Uh, I don't know if you have also these um, fashion women's days. So we do have that right now. So everything is on sale. So that's perfect. And I don't have anything to wear for the summer and it's getting hot outside. So I'm so happy. And yeah, what I told you, my whole wardrobe was almost black. I think I even did a video where I showed you my apartment one day. And I think you can see that, you know, half of my wardrobe was just black. And that made me depressed. So, you know, switching to more light colors and, you know, more colorful palette, it's really making a big difference also in my mood and just feeling a little bit more feminine and, you know, a little bit more grounded because that's what I like actually. And, um, you know, these dark colors, I was always hiding. I was hiding behind my dark colors because I looked thinner and these kind of things. And I associate my dark stuff with this energy and this mood that I have to hide something and with the light colors and you know I just associate a little bit more fun now on me you know not on other people but just on me just having more fun being more outgoing working on myself and so that's why this is a big step for me and it does have a big impact also in my journey and that's why I always say carnivore gave me my life back because I did gain weight and I'm not sure if I did say that I did gain weight from yesterday to today because of my whipped cream carnivore ice cream debacle um I did even gain a half kg so that's never pleasant to see you know because you know what's causing it and causing you feeling sick and these kind of things but I know what I have to work on right now. And, you know, I worked on the coffee part. I worked on the processed food part. I worked on the bad oils mm, things, uh, refined oils and, you know, highly processed food. And 
um, also on, on sugar and all these kind of things. And this in 53 days, that's nothing. That's not even two months now. So, um, you know, I, 34 years, I was eating crap. <laughs> I was eating crap and to get rid of these things and, you know, even this short period of time and, you know, experience these kind of very ups and downs, but still a lot of ups as well. Um, it's just amazing, you know, and it keeps me going and it keeps me motivated to have these moments. So I'm still looking forward. And I did bought uh, a bathing suit, which I would never wear because, uh, you know, everything in my stomach would hang and it would look awful. It's still, I don't look like a top model. <laughs> I will never look like a top model, but I don't look like, you know, somebody that, that is, you know, fitness influencer and having a six pack of these kind of things. But you know, this little muscle showing here and this uh, bathtub being open here exactly. So it, it was just like, I was feeling good. I was feeling better in my, in my skin and I, I didn't have the feeling I have to hide it in, in black clothes and black bath and bathing suits. And I do have even a bathing suit that actually covered everything. It was like a burqa, do you say that? I was almost like that because I felt so awful. And then it makes me even worse because I was always, you know, <laughs> a dark bowl of black energy. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. And uh, yeah, I feel now light and not light only from my physical, but light from my brain, like from my, you know, <gasps> Ah, and now everybody's gonna hate me because I'm too good. <laughs> so I'm too good at from food and wipes. But I actually like that more than always being, you know, a grumpy cat. <laughs> um, yeah, my mom has also experienced a little bit more of stomach pains, and because she has gastritis, I don't know if you call that in English, but you know the stomach problems and these kind of things. And um, yeah, I'm not sure what what it is because she didn't eat the carnivore ice cream. So maybe something in the meat was wrong. So, you know, you can always have reactions on every kind of food and it's always a little bit difficult and yeah. But one thing I wanted to address is I'm so thankful and also proud of myself that I'm a person that's very open and very honest about everything in my life happening, everything in my body and just being totally open and never, you know, hide something. That's why people showing up also always in my life telling me things that I didn't know and I can learn from and you know that just educating me in some kind of ways and um, also I, th I think your name was Jonathan uh, in my last video I'm so thankful he took the time to write me you know a lot of things that are some of things I know so I know he's right with the things he's saying um, what I can do with my MS as well and how I can improve my health in these kind of directions so that's why I'm so thankful and that's why I love also sharing all the little things which are more interesting sometimes, maybe not for you, it doesn't matter, but there is always one person then can that can change your life with some information they have or some experience they have. So that's why I can honestly encourage you to always talk very openly about your things you have because you you maybe will you know find a person that will help you in the end and I did that and found a lot of people along my way who helped me with hypnose therapy and all these kind of things which actually healed my traumas from my childhood and these kind of things so that really helps along the way <laughs> with a lot of things and uh I am so thankful to have you and Luca is very pleasant with you guys uh, saying hello to him <laughs> in my last video. So um, yeah, today is Friday and we're going to have a great weekend and uh, I want to just do fun stuff and uh, just implement a little bit more of fasting time, a little bit more, uh, you know, just focusing on, on lion diet and, you know, to don't have the the carnivore ice cream because i did make the carnivore ice cream um it just whipped cream one egg um and a little bit of cinnamon that's it that's everything that's actually inside i have now and i do put it into the the ice where you can eat it like this so for my son it's very cool because you know i can moderate that a little bit but for me it's it's there now, you know, and that's a little bit the tough time. So I'm, I, I don't know how you people do it. If you have, for example, a wife or a husband or 
you know, family surrounding you, which eat completely different, maybe American diets and a lot of sugar and processed food, and they don't want to do the same path like you do, and you still manage to do that. I'm so impressed. I don't know how you do it if you're doing it, um, because I couldn't, if the stuff is in my house, I would eat it. So if you can manage not to eat it, I'm, pfft, please let me know how you're doing it, because that's just unbelievable. And if you have these kind of things, also one good tip maybe is uh, I do have a, a time safe. You can buy those on Amazon and you can, you know, usually people put their phones in it, but you can also put, you know, the sugary stuff in it and you can close it for minutes, days, hours, and then it will open when it's ready, when, when you put it, you know. And that's so good because you can eat something if you want to moderate yourself. That's how I did it um, in January when I ate sugar, um, I did moderate myself like this. I just put out some chocolate bar and then I closed it and then I closed it for a day. So only the next day I will get to my chocolate bar and it's impossible to open it because you will destroy almost 70 euros and that's not what you're gonna do. So it's important that it costs a little bit more because if it costs, I don't know, two, three euros, you will be more likely just to crack it open when you want to have something sweet, like like a addicted person with sugar, on, honestly, you know, unfortunately is. So, yeah, <laughs> that's basically what we do like that. Uh, and I wish you the most beautiful day and hopefully you enjoy it and uh, let me know how you're doing with your journeys and if you started already, if you want to start, how it's going because I love to read it and um, yeah see you tomorrow like every day now for 53 days so everybody who's still with me I'm impressed I sometimes can't even listen to my own self so if you can good job <laughs> so see you tomorrow bye